that's it. Something fell. It was thrown like a rock. Get over here. Oh. Do you hear that? Okay, here we are. This is the entrance to the cemetery. Every location we visit has its own set of challenges, but none like the cemetery we investigated. Upon arrival, Kent and Tanya capture a ball of energy whisking away from them. With further inspection, we debunked it as not being a flashlight. Then a Class A whispery voice is heard saying, Kit and Tanya do not use negative communication. We find positive feedback prevents physical attacks and hostility during investigations. It's a beautiful cemetery. Although being positive doesn't always prevent a hostile entity from showing itself, in this EVP you can hear a laugh that sounds up to no good. I guess since there was so much hostility, they... We only wish to speak with those spirits who want to speak with us. It is our job to connect with any spirits who needs any help or wishes to speak with someone. If there are any spirits here with us, can you please make a sound or something to let us know you're here right now? Our equipment captures this anomaly as you can see that it is not solid and has no notable wings. In infrared, it appears as a crack of electricity, not a white anomaly. The longer Kent and Tanya are there, the more they hear disembodied sounds. Then an audible female voice is heard, followed by more strange sounds. What was that? No, I heard something over here. There it is again. I thought I heard it whisper. Oh, I heard it from here. It sounded like somebody went, like, oh, or something weird like that. Tanya picks up on a whispery male voice who doesn't sound very pleased. This is Kit and Tanya at the cemetery. August 9th. If this anomaly were a UFO or a satellite, it would either have a comet tail or it would continue in orbit. This, however, gets really bright then disappears suddenly. This capture is very interesting. It appears to be a lower half of the leg walking away from our investigators. You can see where the knee bends when it takes a step. A common occurrence on investigations is the draining of our batteries. Spirits make this a practice when they need energy to communicate. Figures, first time we bring it out, don't work. A strange snake-like anomaly is seen flying and appears to dissipate before leaving frame. This capture it happens twice. Let's go straight out. Watch out for this chain. Follow behind. When watching the evidence, Kent noticed the same voice communicating with them through different means. First a spirit box, then an EVP followed by the obvious back to back. Oh, 
Immediately after this encounter, our investigators almost went down the rabbit hole. Was this entity trying to warn them about immediate danger? Oh, watch out. It's an open grave. What? I gotta get a photo of that. It was an open burial. Whoa, that didn't sound good. Here's a bench. Put your camera down here. I have this device here. This antenna on it. Remember that snake anomaly? It shows that. itself again in full spectrum. It's pretty. In this next clip, we captured an elemental we've never encountered before. Because the cemetery is located where Native Americans were heavily populated, there was bound to be a spirit watching the grounds. This creature is extremely tall and crooked, black shadowed and gangly. It sends shivers down your spine knowing it was lurking near a freshly dug grave with our investigators nearby. What? You did? Then a hunched over shadow form is seen moving quickly along the bottom of the screen, just after a voice from the spirit box is heard asking permission to do so. Through here. Let's see. Can you get that? He's almost dead too. Call. Daddy. Keep in mind, I think it might be a neighbor kid messing with us. It was a clear voice, Ken. Yeah. Yeah. We are saying something like, down. So, let's, let's move this way. Let's see what's this way. Heard movement. Is that what it says? Yeah. By A.J. Weston. I can't believe they put his murderer's name on there. You upset with that, Robert? Does that upset you? That they put your murder name on your plaque? By A.J. Weston. I'd be upset. <laughs> After Kent and Tanya walk away from the plaque, activity starts to pick up and get a little physical. Was this spirit not happy with them reminding him of his murderer's name on his grave plaque? You can let us know we're here by touching this antenna. Don't be yanking on us. Can you set off this device? Right here, just come touch it. You can affect it. Whoa, what was that? That sounded like an owl. It did. Oh, wow. We heard a screech owl in a cemetery, Tanya, at night. You hear that something? Grunt? Monument. Aside from some spirits who do not want us present, 
there are some who desperately seek our help. They're the reasons we always return to previous locations. I couldn't use that triangle. It belongs to that person. Whatever that is. Excuse me. Pretty cool though. Then not long after this creepy figure was spotted lurking behind Tanya, a large heavy thud is heard, as if a large rock was thrown at her. Whoa, something fell over here. What? There was something fell or was thrown like a rock. Really? Yeah, get over here. A rock? No. All right, let's head toward. Let's go up there. Come on. I want to make sure there ain't somebody here. Is there somebody out here messing around? Sure, it wasn't just a pine cone? No, it was heavy. Yeah, because I heard a thump. Yeah, it was a rock. It was not a pine cone, it made a fud. Well, somebody's not happy that we're here. Or they're messing with us. Yeah. There was this, uh... After a quick search of the cemetery, they did not hear any footsteps running away, nor saw no living people who could have tossed the rock at Tanya. Did it land close to you? We come in peace. We're not here to cause trouble. Yeah. Fate. Violent. Fate. Violent. That sounded like an ATD. But let's head back over towards the gear right now. In our next video, we captured something shocking at this location, all due to Tanya's prayer for this child's spirit. Son of the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I'm coming. Here's a bunch of headstones where it says burial locations unknown. Uh, something, oh, dropped. Dropped my roses. Somebody wanted my roses. Excuse me, everybody. Pardon me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Mm. I can hear voices. What was that? Dogs barking. But I heard voices. Sound like a growl. As Kit and Tanya head back to the equipment to regroup, an incredible volley of back and forth EVPs are heard clearly.
Ready to pack it up? I think, I think, I think that's enough. Yeah. If we get something, we'll come back. Yeah, we don't need to overdo it. Mm -hmm. As our investigators get ready to leave, Kent does one final thermal sweep. We notice that one headstone shows up black. Why is this one headstone colder than the rest, not warmed by the heat of the day? Boy, that headstone right there, that black one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep, it is. I don't like statues. Dark. Look at point one. It's hitting me hard. It's flooding me with energy. Alright, we're gonna start walking this way. We're gonna leave. If you talk to us, you we, still keep talking. we will hear your voice. And if you ask for anything, we will come back. Now that we know where you are. All spirits and any spirits who spoke with us or made contact, we appreciate it. We'll leave you here. Thank you. If you've enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe for more Native Paranormal Seekers. Stay tuned to see our next video, part two of the Pioneer Cemetery, coming soon. Happy Halloween.